Pastor, to try to give some words of inspiration. Look. I thought about it. I thought about it. I said, Lord, let's get a whole I'm bunch, but she's kind of behind it. So what you do? Mm -hmm. And three signs came in up. Her face. Yield, cautious, and stop. Well, anybody that knows my pastor, when he gets to preach, when he, I first met him, okay. I have to tell this step back a minute. <laughs> I saw him not as an army, but I saw him from that side, and I didn't see him, I saw his hair. <laughs> and I said, that's the one, and if you don't get him, I'm leaving. I was on the committee. So, after he... Came in, I guess these are the words that they only heard. I never heard them, but I went home and I told my family, I said, We got us a Moses. <laughs> but I didn't know his name was Moses. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. But what I saw was wisdom, anointing, and spirit. I saw no face, and that's what it is. It wasn't the clothes or how he looked, it was looking at him from a spiritual standpoint. View. Yeah. Then when he came in and he got to be our pastor, he sat out there and I used to feel so sorry for him. He'd be administering. That's when I was saying, I guess it meant to yield because sometimes you gotta step back, you can't administer to everybody. All right now. And the next one was cautious. And if you ever heard him preach and say in the pool, could he raise that leg up? And he told me, he said, Mother Manners, my leg is bothering me too. And I thought about <laughs> Moses' father-in-law. He told Moses that he needed help. Praise the Lord. Praise God. It has come to the time that God sent him some help. Amen. On the ministry. Pit, we have these two five balls. Yeah, my God, my God. Nichols was already there taking care yeah, of the load. Yeah. So he's able to sit back now and take a few days off whenever he gets ready. <laughs> but now the last sign was stop. <clears throat> and I'm thinking when he was cautious, that was telling him something that uh, even though you're my child, you need to check it out. You need to slow down a little bit. But knowing him, he just cannot do that. Right. If he saw right. something around here in the church need to be done, he thought he was a plumber. <laughs> he was, he was, whatever it was, he would try. A plumber. Oh, praise the Lord for the plumber. So, but now he has learned. He saw the stop sign. So now he's learned to step back. <coughs> but Pastor, I want to tell you this evening that you are shy. You look good. I'm not looking at you and how sharp you are and how you dress. I'm looking at the creator that created you. Yes. Yes. The spiritual part of it. I yes. don't see you as all being, you're clean. But the clean is fine. Nobody can clean you up like Jesus. Yes. That's what I'm looking at. The hair is still there. Praise the Lord. As long as that hair stays gray, and I'm sure it's going to stay gray, I'm always going to be able to say that your pastor, that I'm, I'm just happy to say that you are my pastor. I know that God has sent you here. I know it has not been easy trying to, live, trying to leave these children of God. Praise the Lord. They are hard can headed. cause a whole lot of confusion. But my advice to you is, Yes, Get sir. your direction from up above. Oh, yeah. And you can't go astray. And just look out there at your problems. Yeah. They did, they have busy schedules, but they didn't just take out that that time to come and show their face or their pretty outfits or that beautiful smile. They come to tell you they love you. Yeah. Well. So again, I say, let the man of God direct you. When you get that sign, it's time to stop. It's time to slow down. That's right. Let your pulpit take over. Yeah. Praise God. I love you, Pastor. Amen. I don't know why this happened, son. I'm sorry. This happened to me while he was finishing up his preaching today. I closed my eyes and I saw something that I never saw before. And I told Pastor about the Holy Spirit came upon me and I was saying, Lord, I don't want to shout. Okay. You know, and I said, I don't want to quench the spirit, but it came out anyway. 
he was saying, open up the floodgates of heaven. Yes. I saw a stone wall. And in that center of that stone wall, I saw a picture. It was like a picture. Water was screaming out. But it was a, a medium screen. Then all of a sudden it got bigger. And I opened my eyes. But that's what, and I told him about it. But the spirit was all over me. Now what it means, I don't know. But Pastor, it, I'm taking it as that you are a child of God. Yes. No matter, you are a man first. And then God anointed you. So then you're going to have ups and downs. And you have feeling like the rest of us. So I just ask you to keep the arms of Christ around you. And I plead the blood of Jesus over you. That yes. he will cover yes. you and protect right. you. And yes. everywhere yes. you go. God bless all you. Right. Yes. Yeah, that's wisdom right there. You know, I will pass.